jellyfish or things very similar to jellyfish have been here in our oceans for more than 600 million years. They're part of the history of evolution of life on Earth. A lot of them live in this twilight zone area that's down to about 3,000 feet deep. And we don't know very much about anything that lives there, let alone the jellyfish. Sometimes we call that inner space. It's like things that would live in outer space because it's so big, except it's on our planet, it's all water, and it's just totally different from what we're used to on land. You know, jellyfish had been studied for a hundred years, but it was just jellyfish that came close to shore and they were easy to catch and that people knew about. And now that we know that so many of these jellyfish are down in the open ocean and the deep ocean, we need, we need ways to get there. Well, the Mesobot is a new kind of robot specifically for exploring the Twilight Zone. Its job is to emulate many of the qualities of a skilled scientific diver being able to hang almost motionless in midwater and observe the animals, to take samples, to take measurements, and to do that in a very unobtrusive way. We've been working on an environmental DNA sampler that goes onto Mesobot. eDNA refers to uh, pieces of DNA that's in the environment that were shed by the different animals that, that live in the environment. So it's pretty exciting in that we're actually uh, with this eDNA approach, we're, we're not even sequencing the animals, we're sequencing their forensic fingerprints or their traces of, of DNA that, that have been left behind. When we say we're worried about the future of the ocean, it's not that the ocean is going to go away. It's that we're worried that the ocean, which has been a beneficial part of human life and human evolution, is going to change in ways that won't be so beneficial anymore. People have found plastics almost everywhere in the ocean, including the deepest parts of the ocean, like in the trenches. So we, we know that the plastic comes in at the surface or at the edges of the ocean, and we know that it's showing up at the bottom. So it has to be in the middle, in some, in some parts of the twilight zone and in the deeper part of the ocean. A lot of different kinds of animals we're seeing we're seeing plastic in their stomachs now, and uh, fish and marine mammals and turtles and so forth. And so a lot of these are things that feed on jellyfish also, and so easy to mistake the jellyfish and the plastic. So I think that that's the, the real concern right now is the larger things, which just look to a, a predator like something that they're used to eating, but they're not. Understanding the twilight zone will be a key part of managing the oceans in the future. We believe most of the fish in the ocean live in that region. If we're going to protect it, we first have to understand it. Even for our coastal jellyfish species, we don't have a good handle on who they are. And so that makes me think, if we don't have this knowledge in these, quote, easy places, what does that say about somewhere like the mesopelagic zone where we've explored such a tiny fraction of it? What, what's waiting there for us to discover? Uh, I always like to find new things, new species, uh, and, and the Twilight Zone is a great place for that. That's one of the coolest things is you go there and you find something that's probably been living there for millions of years and you're the first person to see it. Doesn't get much better. <laughs>